Thomas really is in a terrible state. He spent the whole afternoon on the telephone because of that wretched Jap. You know, Oka Ree. Apparently he got drunk and run amok in that new French restaurant last night. The owners are demanding damages and threatening to call the police if he turns up again. And then one of the other Japanese turned up at lunchtime to book a table for tonight. Goodness knows what will happen if Oko Ri appears too. Well, St. John, what are your plans for the weekend? Something on the boil, I'll bet. Well, I thought I might take in a show tonight. You know, that Ibsen thing at the arts. I thought it was the cherry orchard. Is it really? Oh, well, it's something to really like that. Then a bite of supper, I suppose. I might try that new French place, in fact. Might be rather amusing. Must be jolly nice being a bachelor and having the weekend before you, especially in Cambridge. Yes, it's really fun. Well, I'd better get on with this. I don't think Thomas really wants me to take it off the premises. Oh, oh right, yeah. I say, Melanie, do you like the cherry orchard? Loathe it. Oh, why? Oh, all that Russian doom and gloom, people shooting themselves out of loneliness and depression, that sort of thing. Their mother says they don't really understand comedy, except she's right. How's mother? Top hole, thanks, Injun. Well, if there's ever anything that I can do, you know, she wants company when you That's want to go out. I love you, St. John. Thank yeah, you. I enjoy it. I say, that's an impressive tome that old Thomas has lent you. What are you copying out exactly? Recipes. This one's for roasted swan. Ah. For a dinner party. <laughs> no, no, St. John. It's for my British life and institutions lot, to give them some idea of what a medieval banquet was like. Swans are protected birds these days, you know. Oh, yes, of course they are. Well, gosh, I fancy thinking that you'd give them for a dinner party. <laughs> but aren't they the most beautiful creatures? I was looking at one just the other day. It was on the camp, you know, drifting behind a punt. They were all shouting and drinking champagne. It was just drifting behind them, so calm. I remember there used to be Ooh, a dozen or so that came every year to a pond that was near my aunt's when I was... And I could hear their wings, great wings beating in the evenings when I was lying in bed. It could be quite frightening, you know, even after I knew what was making the noise. The next morning, there they'd be, a dozen of them or so, just drifting, just drifting around. And you know, it was hard to imagine seeing their long necks twining in their way of drifting. All that power, those great wings beating. St. John, please don't think me fearfully rude, but I must try and finish this, and I can't write and talk at the same time, you see. Hmm? Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry, Melanie. No, you're quite right, I can't either. Anyway, I ought to be getting on. Yes, it's such a full evening. I, I do hope you enjoy it. Yes. Well, night, Melanie. See you Monday. And don't forget about your mother any time. I won't, St. John. Good night. So I'll leave it to you, but do please be careful, O'Curry. I say, Henry. Yes. Any chance of a game? Uh, no, I, no, I've just finished, I'm afraid, but perhaps next week. Right. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Oh, by the way, yes. if, if you want any babysitting done over the weekend, I'll try and make myself available. Oh, right, I'll put it to Fanny. I know she's very keen to see Uncle Vanya at the art. Um, perhaps tomorrow night? A votre disposition. Night, old man. Night. Hello, Melanie, my dear. I thought everyone had gone. How are they taking to the croquet? At present, they find it a bit sedate, I think. But another time or two around, they'll discover just how much 
incivility as possible on our tranquil English lawn. <laughs> now, I haven't sort myself out. I promised Fanny I'd be home by six. Now, where's my briefcase? Oh, yeah. And a pile of unseens, I seem to remember, to be marked by Monday. How is Fanny? Oh, very well, thanks. Very well. A bit tired in the evenings, what with children on the one hand and a two hours voluntary of the OAP. But she's enjoying every minute of her day. And the children are all well? Oh, yes, they're fine. Well, Susan's a little tense at the moment, actually, with her O levels. It's a pity she's taking them so soon, I think, but she insists. She's in with a particularly bright lot and she doesn't want to fall behind or let herself down, so she works away till all hours. Sometimes after Fanny and I have gone to bed. <laughs> but she's beginning to develop an interest in, well, philosophical speculation, I suppose you'd call it, really. <laughs> the other evening, she insisted, it was in the middle of supper, and she'd hardly said a word till then, she suddenly insisted that we couldn't prove that other people existed. And that perhaps when we saw them, or remembered them, or saw and heard them even, we were actually just making them up. Well, of course. I took her up on this and attempted to explain how it is we do know other people exist, including people we don't know exist, uh, if you follow me. And she kept saying, but you can't prove it, Daddy. You can't actually prove it. And she was right. I, I found myself getting quite tangled up in my own arguments. <laughs> I've always thought she was the one who takes most after you. Yes, yes, perhaps she does, perhaps she does. I'm afraid I rather like to think so anyway. <laughs> But you haven't seen him for ages, have you? You really must come over soon. Fanny would love to see you. Well, we all would. That would be lovely. Right. Uh, I'll get a, give you a ring over the weekend, or... Uh... Good. Right, well. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, how's your mother's day nurse working out? Uh, with the name out of Dickens? <laughs> nurse Grimes. Grimes, yeah. Well enough so far. She seems a very efficient... Cheerful little soul, a little too cheerful perhaps for my taste, because apparently she belongs to one of these peculiar revivalist sects that seem to be springing up all over the place now. You know, meeting in each other's homes and chanting prayers and dancing about in their love of God. Oh, Lord. At least that's how she describes it. But Mother seems to like her. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, well, do give her my, my very best. See you Monday, Melanie, my dear. See you Monday, Henry. my arms and leaving my briefcase behind. I, I do that sort of thing more and more now. Oh, perhaps it's premature senility. <laughs> or did I get switched to the wrong track and think I was going off to teach? I suppose I must have done as I went out that way. <laughs> Melanie? Melanie? 